All right, listen, if you're a married guy, okay, and your wife is sitting down and then you look at her on a specific day in a month and she's just not feeling herself, you're speaking to her, but she's not talking to you. You're speaking to her, but she's not acting normal. You're speaking to her, but she feels like she's off. She's fidgety. She's moody. She's all over the place with her emotions. She's angry. She doesn't want to talk to you. She wants to sleep more. She doesn't want to go out. And you're pressing on her and you're telling her, why are you like that? And you're becoming more annoying and more vexing and more badgering. Brother, I want you to know one thing, inshallah. And unfortunately, a lot of men don't know this. A lot of Muslim men and even non-Muslim men don't know this about their women. Don't know this about the, their woman. They, they they think that their that their woman has the anatomy and the physiology of a of a male. Listen to this. This is very important for you. And a lot of marriages break apart. A lot of couples fight and create a war out of nothing, out of this. And it's because of the man's oblivion to the reality of what a woman goes through every month. Listen to this. A woman every month goes through something called a men menstrual cycle or in common language she goes through her period and with that her emotions are not normal she becomes upset more she becomes mad more she becomes fussy more she becomes more emotional she becomes more disturbed she becomes more bothered by you she becomes more troubled not because you are the problem listen to this again not because you are the problem it's because her emotions are just not normal. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created a female to go through a rejuvenation process every month. She releases unwanted energy. She releases the unwanted chemistry within her anatomy. And as a result, that in and of itself, it makes her feel not within herself she feels different she doesn't feel strong she feels like she's weak and so dear brother in islam and dear brother as a whole when you feel that your wife just needs a break from you please give her a break when she tells you i want to sleep let her sleep when she tells you she doesn't want to cook don't tell her why do you not want to cook oh well you cooked yesterday you cooked three days ago why are you not cooking now well guess what she's on her period quite frankly she's not feeling herself her energy is not at 100. Her, en her energy is probably just hovering at 20%. Okay, you're probably at 150%. She's at 10%. She doesn't want to cook. Leave her alone. Let her sleep. Let her, let, her just, let her just be herself. Let her just give herself mercy. If she's not cleaning the house, well, how about you go up and clean the house? Because she can't have that energy to bend down and go up and jump on ladders and go downstairs and pick up mops and do laundry. How about you do that as a man? How about you do that for her? Because she's on her period. She's not feeling herself. When she's not taking care of the kids or when the house feels off or when, her, or when she's not corresponding with you or if she's not calling you or texting you, please don't be that man that says, oh, I've called you two times and you didn't pick up the phone. Watch when I get home. A'udhu billah. Like, are you, like, what are you? Are you human? Are you even then human after that? She's on her period. She will talk when she wants to talk. She will be there for you when she wants to be there for you. And you need to know one thing. She doesn't hate you. She doesn't want to run away from you. She's not over you. She, she hasn't, she's not cheating on you and she's not looking for another man. She's just in her cocoon and she wants to be that woman. So please don't be that person that's going to break that cocoon apart when the butterfly hasn't sprung out. A woman on her period month to month is basically like a caterpillar that becomes a caterpillar and then she's in a cocoon and then she needs safety she needs someone to understand her she needs protection she needs warmth which is your responsibility as a husband until she eventually springs out and she becomes a butterfly once again and she flutters so beautifully right around you and brother why do i say that it's because a lot of men are brutal they're savages they're monsters when their woman is on her period it's like, it's like you, you don't consider her human anymore. Akhi, brother, she's human. But her anatomy is different. Okay? And so with that, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says from the hadith, from, from the hadith narrated by Abdullah ibn Amr radiallahu ta'ala, in a sahih hadith, the Prophet says, Ar-Rahmanu yarhamuhum ar-Rahman. Ar-Rahimu afwan yarhamuhum ar-Rahman. Ar-Rahman. Ar-Rahimu yarhamuhum ar-Rahman. The most merciful... Allah will have mercy upon those 
that express mercy. And then Allah and then the, the Prophet says, Irhamu man fil ardi, irhamukum man fil sama. Have mercy upon those on earth, meaning your wife, when she's on her period, have mercy upon her, akhi. Have mercy upon her. As a result, what do you get? Allah will then have mercy upon you. Irhamu man fil ardi, irhamukum man fil sama. Give mercy upon those who are on earth, like your wife. Allah, who's in the heavens, will have mercy upon you. So, what is your responsibility when your wife is on your period? Number one, be there for her. Number two, Understand her according to how she understands herself because she's not understanding herself. So you are required to understand her, quite frankly. Number three, don't look at her as the person that she was the night before her period. And number four, be there for her. Give her service. Alleviate from the burdens of the house. Take care of the kids, ya akhi. Right? You're, 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 you're not going to be the woman in the relationship, okay? You're, you're going to be the man. You're going to be a real man when you're doing the more feminine tasks in a relationship while your wife is recovering until she springs out and becomes a butterfly once again. So I hope the message is clear, inshallah, for Muslim men and for Muslims at large. Please have mercy upon your women. Understand your women for who they are and be the one that she will look at and say, you know what, I feel off, but this man's my king. I feel off. But for some reason, I feel myself again because he's not making me feel myself beyond what I'm not already feeling of myself. Be that man, inshallah, and this will only increase your love with her. This will only increase more rahmah, more mercy into your relationship. It will cause blessings to come into your house and it will cause your relationship with the one that you love to become the ever more blessed and the ever more successful. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us his eternal mercy. Allahumma ameen, ya rabbal alameen.